Hi all, Explosive Action here, and we are here to celebrate uh, Jesse, aka Midnight Crawler's 500 subscribers um, and one year on YouTube, which is an awesome achievement. So well done, mate. And he is holding a competition uh, to celebrate this double whammy. And uh, his competition is um, for two prize packs of some awesome DVDs. And the question to be asked is your two favorite horror directors. Now I've picked one that is pretty obvious for me and the other one I had to think about for a little while um, but I am pretty happy with the decision that I made for the second one. The first one, and I'm sure I won't be the only person to pick this, is the mighty Lucio Fulci, the master of gore um, and a very varied career that he had. Um, he stayed a lot in his horror, he did a few action things and a few um, uh, giallos attempts and um, a lot of exploitation all around. Uh, Manhattan Baby, very strange, uh, probably his strangest movie. I um, actually quite liked it and a lot more than I thought I would after hearing all the negative reviews. Um, quite hard to pin down what it's actually about, but it's um, uh, it's got ghosts and demons and it's, yeah, it's pretty strange. New York Ripper, everybody knows. Um, definitely his most sleazy movie. Um, with a few scenes that are still cut in the UK to this day. Um, oh, and I've hit a key and Jesse is now talking. <laughs> that was good. Uh, Enigma, not one of his best, but this is still um, a pretty decent um, horror in the vein of like Patrick and uh, Carrie, um, girl that can um, push, her th push her thoughts out and um, yeah, and kill with her thoughts. So it wasn't too bad. It, but um, City of the Living Dead, which we all know, and The Beyond, uh, as far as I'm concerned, his two greatest works, um, absolute best gore that I've seen, um, just absolutely fantastic stuff, I won't talk too much about them, we all know these, Don't Torture a Duckling, quite underrated, and um, his most fully fledged giallo um, in the early 70s, I think it was early 70s, it's actually very good with a very strange... Um, Strange little twist in it um, that explains the duckling, so I won't go into that. But don't torture a duckling; that's a very good one. And then he went on and did some uh, other ones, a bit more sleazy giallos, like Perversion Story. Um, I don't remember too much about this; it's been ages since I watched it. Um, didn't watch this edition; I watched uh, a download I had from a very long time ago. Don't remember too much about Perversion Story. Contraband was a good one. This is more crime. Um, Italian crime movie, which were quite blended with Giallo's at the time. Euro crime and Giallo did share the police procedural, uh, so Contraband's a good one. And oh, geez, and this isn't horror. This is this is a fantasy movie, like uh, you know, like Yore and Iron Master and that kind of stuff. But being full chi, he has packed it full of gore. Uh, so if you want to see crazy sword and sorcery movie with gore. You see Conquest. Oh, and there's lasers. This movie is weird. But my second second pick is uh, Lucky McKee, who um, has been around for about a decade now. And um, he used, his real come-out movie was May, which I saw when it first came out. Absolutely brilliant movie. Um, it's about a girl who um, had a bit of a strange upbringing and can't make any friends, basically. So she uh, creates her own, and uh, yeah, well, how she goes about that is is pretty cool. Just think Frankenstein, um, and uh, yeah, definitely check out May if you've not seen it. One that I also really like is The Woods, uh, which she did a few years later, which does share similarities with a movie like Suspiria, uh, which is in a school... Um, and there's a lot of, yeah, very interesting acting um, and uh, characters in this one. Uh, the lead girl here, um, who I think is Agnes Brooker, um, based on the title up there. I don't actually know her name, I'm assuming that was her. Uh, she does a really good role in this. And um, there is a glorified cameo from Bruce Campbell, so that instantly puts it up there with me. And um, what I'm really looking forward to is uh, McKee's next movie, which is The Woman. 
that's just come out here in Australia, I believe. So um, I'm going to try my best to get to the cinema if it's actually showing at cinema. Maybe it's showing at a Dendy's or a smaller cinema like that. And um, yeah, hopefully he continues his great movies uh, and I get to see some more of them. So that's my entry. Lucio Fulci and Lucky McKee. Um, hope that's good enough for you, Jesse, and uh, good luck with the next 500. And uh, thanks for entering me in the competition.